Good morning, Joseph Carr here at Schaefer Chevrolet. Wanted to show you this 2007 Ford F-150 XLT that we've been talking about. Um, like I said, I think this is the the right deal for you. This vehicle seems to be in immaculate condition. I'm going to move from the outside of this vehicle, highlighting the features of it, and then moving to the inside for you as well, just so you can kind of get a better, closer look at it and see if this is the right fit like we've been talking about. So as I move up to the front side here, I'm going to move in a little bit closer so you can, we can try and highlight if there's any dents, ding, scratches that you won't be able to see in the photos. Um, so let's get started, shall we? Up front, of course, is your Ford emblem and your grill. Looks like it's all in pretty good shape along with your front tow hooks and fog lights. Moving up on the hood here, you look, there's a little paint chip. But other than that, you know, it's your typical, typical rock. And there's one more, excuse me. Barely noticeable. But let's move over to the front quarter panel as well. Like I mentioned, big aggressive tires, Wrangler as well. Looks like they had custom rims put on it. Up under the wheel well, like I said, it looks like it was coated at one point, but I mean, it's just your typical wear and tear on the vehicle at this point. Um, here's your slo slogan of the F-150 XLT 5.4 Triton. Moving to the door, you got that nice two-tone protection right there along with the bed rail and your silver rain guards like I had mentioned in the video as well. Moving underneath of the vehicle real quick so we can get a look at the rockers. Like I mentioned, it's just your typical wear that you're going to see on a vehicle over the course of time. Let's move along the side of the door as well. Nice clean bed. If you get under here, there's no rust developing. Here's your gas cap. Again, your tires, the rear, rear quarter panel and underneath as well. Again, it looks like they have the undercoating. It's been very well taken care of and probably garage kept if I had to take a, take a guess because I'm seeing next to no rust on a vehicle that's almost 10 years old. Moving around the back side here. Here we go. Your back up sensors along with the trailer hitch. Spare tire under there. Wiring. I'm going to drop the tailgate for you. Like I said, you got a bed liner here. A few floor mats. Lift up under here. That just looks like it's dirt. Yeah, it's dirt. Gross. But again, um, moving under here, it looks like it may be clay, if anything. Let's move along the side of the vehicle. Your 4x4 logo. Underneath the tire well on the passenger side. Rear. Moving along, again, you got your windows, rain guards, no rust up in between here. Let's get underneath the quarter, underneath the rockers, shall we? This side looks like it was a, a little bit cleaner. A few scuffs here that looks like. But I mean, it's gonna be a work truck too, so that shouldn't hopefully be too much of an issue. Uh, moving up under the front quarter panel and wheel well. Looking to the front, here's a little bit of, may have bumped into something, it's just a scuff. So I'm going to pull out the keys. I mean this vehicle is brand new to our lot, we just got it yesterday. Your key set. As I said, I mean, it doesn't look like there's any stains in here, nor do I smell anything smoky. I'm gonna hop in, we're gonna turn her on, we'll hear it roar, and we'll get some information out of it too. All right, it's getting close. There's your mileage, 95,071 miles. Cruise control, the settings for it. Lights, power adjusting pedals. Power windows. Let's start with the mirror over here and I'll move to the other side too. That window too. Roll that window up. And now this one. Turn on the radio. That works. 
turn the air up a little bit more, let's hear. As you can see, the four, four shifting column. Now uh, it looks like you got a mount right there for the GPS or it's this computer thing, which I think it's some sort of system. I'm not 100% sure what it does, but it's an aftermarket edition. Kudos to you if you get it. 12 volt port, parking sensors, cigarette lighter. Open up in here. I don't really see anything wrong with it. So let's move to the back seats while I'm doing them. And I also highlight the inner seam of the doors. Like I said, doesn't really look like there's any rust developing in the door well. Might help if I unlock the entire vehicle though, right? Again, this vehicle is still waiting for preparation to be clean, but I mean, it's in good, good shape overall. Let's fold your seat up. That's the only stain I see, huh? But other than that, it's clean on the inside. Seat belts, no power rear window. Well, I hope this vehicle has been a little informative and has this video. If you have any questions, I'm Joseph. This is the 2007 Ford F-150 XLT. Um, Give me a call, let me know what you think, and we'll move forward. Call Schaefer Chevrolet at 989-879-2211. Have a great day.